Hello Youtubers, I'm Parwiz and this is our 41st video in Python GUI development with PyQt5. So in the previous video we have learned that uh, how you can create uh, a nice uh, queue completer in PyQt5. So this is from the previous video. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you that uh, how you can open a second dialog or second window. For example, I'm going to create a window and uh, I add a button so when a user click on the button, I want to uh, open another window. So uh, uh, it was also requested by a viewer uh, of my YouTube channel. So I have decided uh, to make this uh, video. So now uh, I have created a new Python file and let me close this. And uh, this is my window and uh, so this is my Python file. And let me just copy my window code. So I want to copy this and let me bring some changes in here so first let me write a method of uh, def init UI and let me copy these lines from here and uh, paste this uh, in this section and let me remove these from my class okay and uh, let me call this solve uh, dot init UI. Okay. Uh, also, I'm going to change the queue main window to I have a queue per button, and uh, so this queue main window to queue uh, widget. Okay. Now let me just uh, change this to queue widget. And change the title to PyQt5 Q dialog. Let me run this, and you will see that I have uh, a nice window. Okay. So now uh, let me first uh, import uh, add uh, some classes. So I want Q VBox layout. Uh, I want uh, Q dialog. Okay. Now. Uh, so in here, uh, first let me create a button, uh, vbox, uh, qvbox layout, and I want to create a push button. So self dot btn, uh, q push button, and the text I want to write open uh, second dialog, and let me self dot btn dot set phone uh, cute GUI dot Q font let me add this font and the font size is 15 okay so now vbox dot add widget and I want to add my btn self dot btn okay solve.btn and now I want to set the layout so self.set layout to the vbox layout okay now you need to call this in here uh, in this section so uh, okay no problem I have called the init UI so let me just run this Okay, now you can see I have a button open second dialog. And uh, now uh, I have created this button. Now we are going to uh, create our dialog method in here because we want to connect that to the uh, clicked signal of my push button. So diff open second dialog. Now let me create a dialog object. So I call it my dialog. Uh, there are two ways that you can create that. Uh, let me show you the first way. So you can create the dialog object and uh, now I want to my dialog dot set model and I want to make this to true and uh, after that I want to execute the dialog. So dot execute. Okay. Now in your push button in here let me just connect this self dot btn dot uh, Collect dot connect self dot open 
second dialog okay now I'm going to just run this and uh, so I will show you the both ways and uh, okay now if I click on open second dialog you can see I have another dialog uh, open second dialog this is my second dialog but what is the problem in here the problem is in here when you have your second dialog you cannot interact with your uh, first dialog so you can see uh, I'm not able to move this dialog now for this uh, there are another way that you can do this uh, for this uh, in here let me just uh, comment this too so okay now and instead of this you can simply say my dialogue dot show okay and in here you need to give the parent of self now I'm going to run this okay now if I click on open second dialogue you can see I have uh, this dialogue now I can interact with this you can see if I click another uh, now you can see I have another dialogue open second dialogue I have another dialogue you can interact with all of them in the same time so like this you can create uh, uh, dialogues uh, if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos subscribe my channel like the videos and share the videos